Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Let's go back to the unreliable. We'll give the glance to Nayoka, which I didn't do earlier, I don't know why. Whatever. Maybe, maybe. Okay, Nayoka, there she is. Hey, Cap. Uh, these glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's Brood to get to the center. The Ooh. center sure. Password to the door is Caron. Okay. We're going to kill a Manti Queen. Right we are. After we already done that. Okay. Oh, good, Sammy, good. Keep up the good work. And let's check our terminal, maybe there's something new. Oh yeah, I just keep noticing that we are find having more and more stuff here. Hmm. Yes, and oh, that I didn't notice. Antibiotics. Nice. Something new. No. Oh. Old message list. Dearest Alex, I can't tell you how pleased I am to finally hear from you. Your message was hilarious. I am delighted by your sense of humor and the tale of your hijinks. I hope your terminal will cooperate for the foreseeable future. I don't know where you were raised, but I'll ha I'll hazard to guess it may have been a barn because anyone with even a modicum of decent hearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one fr of one's friends. Hello, hello. Hope this finds you well. It was a pleasure to see you in my office again last week. I don't care. Hello, Udom here, Udom Bedford. We, well, we met when I accidentally impounded your ship. My silly fat fingers embarrassing me once again. Hey, I don't care about that. Nothing new. Nothing new. Okay, that's all. Pretty sure that the messages weren't there the last time I checked. Maybe just me. Let's see, of course, there's something on Monarch. There's two things on Monarch. There's there. There's that. Let's go for this one first. There was something to be done in Cascadia, if I remember correctly. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. Thank you, Ada. Yeah, we'll take... Who are we gonna take? Parvati and Nayoka. I think. Okay, let's check this out. I don't play the sun. How close it is? It is a lot closer and a lot further. Yeah, you might have chance, ch chance now. Kill it. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's that's dangerous. Kill it. You see that? It's not. But I don't know why I cannot see. Oh, no. Okay, it might be that already. Need yeah. that. Okay, let's go. God damn it, why is it sealed? Oh. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, now. Now we are better. Let's get out of here. Oh god damn it! It's here. Yeah. Stupid of me. 
Okay, now we are closer and now we're not surrounded by monsters. Where's that? Oh! I really did not... Whoa, 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 whoa. Trio, guys. Oh, give me that. That. And... Ew. Okay. Well, help me help us all. I saw one frothing at the mouth, barely able to string a word or two together, walking at me as if to devour me whole. So I was right, there are monsters here. We need to get out if we want to leave. Cecil, you aren't insane. There were people once. I don't know what they are now. Wait. Okay. Cecil, these crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic, from my clinic office, and installed it on the bridge gate. Okay, be right back. Okay, I added into persuade, lock picking, and engineering. Those are the three I use the most. Oh, give me that. Thank you. And now let's see where's our next. I think it's in the store bay, and there's another one. Yep. Oh, there's another map pick. And let's sell all the junk we have. They're all those robot legs might be, might have been really heavy. Are we going back to the cave we've visited already? No, with the Mega Manti Queen or something like that? I hope not. Bruh. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Oh my god. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Leave me alone. I thought I saw something big running towards me, but never mind. Okay, ooh, nice. Give me those, please, thank you. Thank you. Yep. I don't think I need to take any more weapons. Some my picks, but I'll take everything else. This one's here a bit closer. Nice and easy. How many guys got eaten by... Ooh. This, this, and I don't really want this. Can I equip that plasma launcher? Instead of my flamethrower? I think it's at 33. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know how it works, really. Oh, that's how it works. Come on! No, no! I like this one. Oh! Well, this is the spot. Oh no. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs. And everything would be alright in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. 
it's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Uh, you know, I did feel a bit different when we walked in. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. You built all of this? This base? We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Hmm, well, must have been a brave kid. More like attached at the hip to her older sister. Got a kind of strength between them, I suppose. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Hmm. You are a family, I'm sorry they're gone. Too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Sure. Here they come. Give me a second, I need to take this one. Oh my, oh my god. Just use your stuff. Oh my god. Help her there. Really, help her. Okay, one of them is gone. Oh, you're still alive. Can I heal them like this? No. Oh my god, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, kill that one first. Oh my god, oh no no no, where the hell am I? Okay, maybe that might be better actually. Yeah, it's a bit better. Just die! Thank you. Physical damage weakness. Taking too much physical damage has made you soft and vulnerable to more physical damage. Yeah, I might take that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Kind of prices. Yeah. Hey, Mega. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. 
Captain. Thank you. You're welcome. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? Sure. I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Of course, but I think you should hold on to the medallions. Why? Those painful memories, Captain. They'll like to be remembered once in a while. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. Alright, Captain. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Now we are done here. I need to destroy some of the stuff. Yeah, everybody down. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, now back to the Down by the Sun. Okay. There. Let's get out of here. I thought the other thing was on the different planet, but I, I may be wrong. I probably am. Now to the Stellar Bay. Somewhere there? I'm real sorry about your friend, Sioka. Ain't no one deserves to go like that. Certainly not folks just trying to get by. Thanks for saying that. You know, after seeing so many people get chomped, trip into sulfur pools, shot by marauders, I always figured we'd die young. Captain, who saw me? Oh. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. I was just leaving. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hi. Oh, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Sorry. Uh it's I didn't mean to start a wheel. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. Why? How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs, or perhaps the rap spewing acid in our walls. Yeah, maybe. Board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. My engineer's looking to get a dust back casserole. Can you cook one? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back. Before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. I can cover it, don't worry about that. You got it. I got all the ingredients. Should only take about an hour in the oven. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. Sure. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. The dust back casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. You better be. These cakes from casserole. <laughs> Someone even traced little hearts in them. <sighs> I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. You're welcome. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. What now? I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. Really? You have anything particular well, in mind? I'm for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium. Okay, I haven't been there yet. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Alright, we'll swing by. I know I've been asking a lot. Yeah. But you help me out every time. You're the best. I think you have the most quests. Uh, where's my ship? Nope. 
All right, where do we go? There are, they, they always are. That's why I don't really care. Yeah, we can't even see the planet she's been, privately has been talking about, so. Let's go to the Edgewater again. We'll deal with the traitor, so called. Thank you, Ada. Would you mind landing, please? Let's take Felix instead of Parvati and Ellie instead of Nayoka. Okay. Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Don't tell me you want to go back there. Four words, I mean. It just goes to show you there's always a peaceful option. Sure. And fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. No. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. And your point is? Later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. So yeah, I know. Really. That was a very specific image. Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Nice to know you care. Hey, let's mm. not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? You wanted to talk with, with me, and it wasn't Felix's friend. Something about this Harlow guy isn't on the up and up. I know, right? Want to expand on that? Come on, Felix. He's obviously up to something. Hmm. Agreed. Glad it's not just me. The way Harlow was leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels off. Clyde's a decent fellow. He's not. not like I take up with some double dealing crook, right? You would. Okay. Oh, don't worry, I'll plan. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah. Let's deal with that now. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's pretty far away. So let's go to the botanical lab and from there we'll go on foot. Okay, we still have... Ah, it's not so far. It always looks... On the, on the map it looks that it is farther than it really is. It's near Marauders, Marauders encampment, though. Hmm. Where? Oh, for fuck no! Oh, hello. I'm helpful. Oh, there you are. Where? How can I get there? Oh. Come on, move. Is it this over here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it might be. Is this this one? Yeah, that's the one. I told you. It look, this place looked that looked like there's gonna be something here. Oh, hi. Guess we. I have to talk to you. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Uh, okay. What makes you think I walk? Your wife told me where to find you, really. And if you so much as heard a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. Yeah. Relax, she's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Not really. Carla wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Uh, okay, who just wants your ring? Carla wants my ring. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. I know, right? How do I know that I can trust you? 
If I wanted to kill you, I wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I know. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Hmm... Show me some evidence. Yeah, Do you mind? I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Yeah, there is. You're looking at it. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. <laughs> you got a functioning spine. Thank you. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Okay, but why would the board buy off Harlow the for sale? Mm. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. Okay. That includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed. Oh. Anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Alright, that's You've made up your mind. quite enough. I'm not going to kill you. you tell Harlow I'm dead? Yeah. May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Just give me your ring. Here, take the ring. Thank you. For what it's worth. My gratitude. Okay. But before we chill, but before we get back to Harlow, we're gonna end this part here. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.